Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's tutorial is getting sharp images when photographing birds through foliage. And so you can see from the cover slide here that what I'm trying to do is create a different kind of bird image, one that shows it in its natural habitat, and show it just a little bit more in a mysterious way, not the direct front lighting, clear soft background, kind of traditional bird photography image. Let's add some soft out of focus foliage in the image that will kind of show the bird in a different kind of way. And here's a kind of a straight shot. I've got foliage in closer to me here and here, and it's not right up against the bird, and so it kind of softens the image a little bit, and it adds a different kind of a mysterious or unique aspect to the frame. Here's kind of a traditional shot with direct front lighting. The light's coming from this way. There's no shadows on the bird. And this is a great image. It's traditional. And what we're trying to do is put a little bit more art in our image and try to figure out how we can do that by having a softer foreground and having something soft in between us and the bird. And then here we've got this killdeer again, but we've got all this soft foliage blocking parts of it body, but the eye is sharp and the eye is visible. And that's the key thing here. I think if the eye shows through, then it's going to work. If the eye doesn't show through, it doesn't work as well. This one doesn't work as much because we can't see the eye. And as humans, we like to see the eye of the bird. We want to connect with the bird by seeing its eye. Uh, this one works a lot better because we can see the eye, we can connect with the bird, it's got a little sparkle in the eye, and all of that adds up to us being able to make a connection with the bird. And then all of the foliage in the foreground, this is a little bit closer to the bird, but it's still out of focus. It just adds to the ambiance of the image and makes the image a little bit more unique and a little bit more striking. We have to be careful about this because we don't want to have the foliage cut off parts of the birds or block part of the birds. And this one is okay, but I don't really like that this reed here is really sharp. It's not really blurred and it's not really adding anything to the image. It's kind of cutting the neck off. This one I like a lot better because we've got this strong diagonal line and that of course we know adds to a composition. And then here, probably my favorite of the three series here with the lesser yellow legs, this line doesn't interfere with the bird's bill, head, and eye. And so it's just a much cleaner image. And we've got foliage in there. The foliage is a little bit sharper than I was going for, but it still kind of works. How do we do this? Well, I think there's two or three different ways to do this. And one of them is kind of the traditional way of just leaving your camera on autofocus and getting a very small autofocus point and then trying to get that right on the eye of the bird. Here's the standard focus point in Olympus and the other one is just smaller. So the other thing we can do is change the case sensitivity. It's a case sensitivity in Canon system. I think all camera systems have this. They call it something else. In the Olympus world, it's continuous autofocus sensitivity. I have it showing you plus two here. For this kind of photo, I would put it on minus two because minus two in this system is more sticky. It's gonna stay with the bird and not be impacted by stuff that comes between you and the bird. So I think the third kind of way that you can do this, if you're just not leaving it on autofocus and trying to get the small focus point on the eye, or if you're not gonna change the case sensitivity of your camera, the third way to do this is to put your camera on manual mode and manual focus on the bird. And then when it goes behind the foliage, you'll still be sharp on the bird. So those are the kind of the three things that I do when I'm trying to get this kind of a shot. Here I was able to shoot through the foliage and get this greater yellow legs catching a little fish. There's vegetation between me and the bird and that's making it look like the image isn't very sharp, but it's just some short grass that was between me and the bird. It kind of adds to that soft, ethereal, mysterious look that we're trying to get here. And then here's a Lee Sandpiper and there's a bunch of foliage between me and it. My camera is like resting right on the ground, so I'm shooting through grasses and everything. But the eye here is pretty sharp and pretty clear. It's got a nice little reflection gleam in there. And then here, there's more grass here. The eye is pretty clear, but not quite 100% clear. But you can see that by shooting through foliage, we're gonna be able to create some unique and kind of interesting images, more mysterious, more ethereal, and also show where the birds live, show their habitat a little bit. 
And then in this one, this is kind of a straight shot. And then this one is a little bit soft. And that's all because there's some foliage between me and the bird. And then here again, we've got this stuff coming around here. And that works out pretty good. If this was tack sharp, it might seem like it was blocking the bird. So anyway, if you want to learn more about bird photography, pick up a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. It's the complete field guide for beginning and intermediate photographers and birders. Also on Amazon, you can pick up a copy of my book, The Bird Photographer's Guide to Bosque del Apache. And uh, in another month, I'll have a second guide book out. It will be A Bird Photographer's Guide to San Diego County. So look for that in the near future. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future tutorials. I really appreciate that. Hey, I will see you in the next video. Bye.